And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Almost the tail of two days over the last 24 hours. We saw high temperatures earlier on this afternoon in the upper 50s and low 60s. We had a high temperature here in Lafayette, 59 degrees, making today the third warmest day of 2017 thus far. However, things have changed quite a bit over the last few hours. We're down from 59 down to 36 degrees right now. Winds from the west northwest 17 miles per hour, making it feel Way more cooler than that. We're dealing with wind chills right now. The mid 20s headed for wind chills in the teens overnight, and that chill is just going to stick around at least for the time being. Still holding on to the mid 40s in a few spots. 45 Atlanta, 43 both Frankfurt and Thorntown. Off to our northwest, 36 degrees in Fowler, 34 right now in Morocco. So you're seeing the much cooler, drier air mass flow in from the west. Well, along with those cold temperatures, we're also talking the chances of snowfall moving in as well. A wave of moisture flowing in along with all the cool temperatures beginning to affect parts of Iowa as well as Missouri already. You can see that snow off to the west. That is headed our way for tomorrow morning and primarily tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. But before we get to the snowfall, we got to talk about tonight first. So dropping temperatures almost across the board, falling into the mid to upper 20s throughout the viewing area. And as we wake up tomorrow morning, that snow still off to the west of us by tomorrow. So that's the good news. At least we start off the day primarily dry. Overnight lows, however, not warm. We're dealing with lows in the upper 20s, low 30s, 30 degrees in Crawfordsville, 29 in West Lafayette, 30. Your overnight low temperature in Winnemac tonight. Again, wind chills early tomorrow morning, likely in the teens at times. Winds will be much calmer tomorrow morning. That's the good news for the bus stop forecast. 29 and dry starting out at 7. We may begin to see a few isolated flurries as early as 8 or 9 o'clock. After that point, we see that chance of snowfall rise. What we're going to be dealing with first, just again, that slight chance of a few pop-up snow showers, but the organized snowfall event reaching our western counties as early as about 11 or noon tomorrow afternoon. That will continue to pass its way across the region, mainly affecting the southern half of the viewing area. You're going to notice the very dark blue around Tippecanoe County, Fountain County, Warren counties. Again, throughout the early afternoon, this is 4 p.m. Eastern time, affecting that southern half. During the evening hours, you may see a little bit of resurgence of snow pushing northward and that may affect our northeastern counties for a brief period dropping some more snow there but overall snow amounts what we're looking at a little bit less than an inch for the northern half of the viewing area more than an inch for parts of the southern part of the viewing area Tippecanoe County about an inch inch and a half here some parts of the region may see as much as two inches of snowfall by Wednesday evening a high back up around 24 only on Thursday but then temperatures pop right back up into the 40s and 50s as we head towards the end of the week, work week and into the weekend. I can't keep up. I up know I say down, that all the time. But up and down. That's been the story so far all winter, and it continues to be the story yet again this week. All right. Thanks, Cameron. Yeah.